lose this Splatfest, I will throw my Switch into a bowl of booberry cereal. Splatoween is actually real. It's a new Splatoon 3 Splatfest complete with cool Ino costumes, two new Plaza reskins, glow-in-the-dark ink, and a spooky theme. All announced on Friday the 13th, of course. The theme is zombies versus skeletons versus ghosts. I'm on a small but real win streak that I must uphold. So, here are the reasons to join Team Ghost. Make sure to watch until the end of this video because each reason is better than the last. And the final reason might allow Team Ghost to get the victory for this Splatoween Splatfest. Before we dive into the exciting content of this video, I would like to take a moment to kindly ask you for your support by subscribing to our channel. Here, you'll find a treasure trove of engaging Splatoon content and I'm actively involved with this vibrant community. I post information-based and fun videos showcasing tutorials and leaks. I have a playlist of my best videos, so go watch it if you're still on the fence about subscribing. Also, let's put an end to Blaster Jump RNG. Like this video to sign the petition. First, the color. Wait, 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 before you click off. Yes, I know to the naked eye, this purple looks pretty bad. I mean, look at it. What the hell? But you might want to factor in that all of the ink colors will glow in the dark. And honestly, it might help the purple become the best ink color out of all of them. I want you to judge for yourself, though. Now let's get to the point, which would be the best friend? Although this isn't the best reason to join Team Ghost, I'm putting it early because I get a lot of hate in the last video for putting the leader question later on in my video. So, here's why I want a ghost to be my friend. Let's rule out zombies because clearly a friend who will always be trying to eat your brains is not a very good one. Sure, skeletons could be friend, but they're way too delicate to do anything fun with. Also, they can't talk, and they just walk around, and they might also want to eat you, honestly. On the other hand, if you're friends with a ghost, that would be the coolest thing. They can take control of people and pull the best pranks. Next, if you're friends with a ghost, you have infinite knowledge and wisdom. Not only that, but you can talk to the afterlife. What if your ghost buddy is Michael Jackson and you write one of his songs? There are so many things you can do if you can talk to ghosts. Maybe they can send messages from your relatives to you. Shiver has been winning way too much. How did we let Shiver win such a large majority in Splatfest? Come on, she's been winning since like, March. We need to fix this, and although I don't think Fry has a really good chance at winning, I think Team Big Man does, for reasons that will come up later. So, let's give the other idols a break and start a revolution. Next, what's your favorite monster cereal? I might be on Team Ghost, but my favorite cereal is definitely Frankenberry. Wait, he's not a zombie? So, ghost cereal is the only one that has a cereal? I mean, it's my second favorite. I don't care about you, Caramel. Wait, what? Creeper. Oh, man. The difference between zombies, ghosts, and skeletons is that they were all in a different stage of the afterlife. Zombies, shortly after death, skeletons, halfway, and ghosts are completely after the person died. That means zombies and ghosts must stink. P.U. Their bodies haven't even decomposed yet. People would be scared of them since everyone can see them. You would get bullied for being friends with a ghost or skeleton. Not my idea of a good friend. Sorry.
Have you heard of the song? It is an important gem from 2020, aka our last Splatterween since we had none last year. There's an entire song about ghosts. You can't say that about. Oh, never mind. Um, but this one's way better. Speaking of 2020, ghosts are a pretty big part of Among Us. You can be a guardian angel and a ghost can be your friend in the game. It can help you complete the task or protect you from the imposter. And the second to last reason before the biggest reason in the entire video, ghosts are the face of Halloween. Besides pumpkins, when you think of Halloween, it's ghosts. When you look up Halloween on Google, a ghost animation pops up, and if you click images, you see a ghost before any other Halloween creature. And here's what you've been waiting for, the final and by far most important reason. We have popularity. Look at these polls. Ghost is definitely winning popularity. But when has this come in handy? Oh, only every single, not you, Splatfest, the most popular team has won. I predicted most of our wins, and I think Ghost is winning this time, and nobody can tell me differently. That's all for this video. This Splatfest will start on October 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and will end at October 29th at the same time. We do not know the tricolor stage, but I think it will be something cool, like a sneak peek of a new stage. The Splatfest is a big deal, so you go play it. But I lied to all of you. My real favorite Halloween monster is Big Randy. On Halloween, there will be a fella, you don't take his peen. He's big and black, he will take your candy. That fella's name is Big Pee Pee Randy. Hey, Big Pee Pee Randy, he take pretty not just candy. He dress up like your granny, then he be ready for fellas to walk off alone. He make sure they ain't in no home. He sneak up and he let out a moan, he rip off your booty and then he is gone.